What's up, nerds? I'm here. I showed up. Praise be me. Let's go. Um, today is going to be just a tiny bit awkward because I was a very smart boy and I forgot to bring my laptop from where I'm currently pet sitting to here, my home, where I stream. And I use that laptop to keep track of the stream and chat and all that. So, good on me. Uh, in substitute, I'm just using my phone, which works well enough, but you know, if it uh, runs out of battery, which it might just do, uh, I'm fucked. Anyway. <laughs> In other news, let's continue with this game. I don't know, remember what I was doing. All I remember is having this stupid fucking egg on my head, or whatever this is. And there's a commission I can hand in, and diagram, and uh, 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 two quests I can hand in. Oh, I remember. I need to find dog food somewhere. Hello. Hello. Thank you, I will put it to good use. Necklaces? What? Uh, do I even want to know? Do I even wanna? Fucking necklaces. Alright. You have them, great. It'll take a while to analyze all the data. I'll contact you when we have something. Okay. Waiting for the message. Alright. Gotta go see what the fuck I was doing. Total tools. You know, it only I might have said this before, but it only kind of recently occurred to me when I was hearing the ad for the store on the radio that Total Tools is actually a store here in Australia. I remember I even had a friend who worked there once. <laughs> I mean, you know, the priority of it being had past tense. Probably why I don't remember, because I don't have friends. Not anymore. I forgot to fucking sell that. Forgot to fucking sell me shit. Um. Oh shit, I'm out of space. Ah, uh, fine, let's make another. This is gonna be. This house is gonna be nothing but storage. I don't live in a house, I live in a fucking storage warehouse. Is that okay with you, chat? Don't care, it's happening anyway. Alright, level one. And you, not you. Not you! You stay. You two go. Um, I'm not drinking soju tonight because, as I said, I'm staying elsewhere. And I don't feel like... I mean, I could probably do it, but I don't feel like driving home on a bottle of soju for half an hour. Because I'm staying half an hour away. Also, what am I doing in-game? I should probably worry about that first. <laughs> nah, I come to stream just to complain about how far I have to drive in real life. It's, you know... Video games? Like, what the, What are you... What are you you're kind of weird, aren't you? Alright. Missions. Um, I feel like we should probably do this first. Because uh, this was given to us first. Also, it pays better. Gotta do three DD stops for a hundred bucks. What the fuck? But only two decorations for fucking eight hundred. Eight eight thousand. Fuck. Can't even read. Um. Uh, 
where was I going to get the uh, diagrams for the... Uh... Oh no, they're, no, they're not in here, they're in here. That's why. They're, uh... No, they're not. Yes, they are? Maybe? Yeah, they're in here. Don't know why they don't come up in the mission ones then, but oh well. What's a mission against anything else? Uh, civil cutter. I need five hardwood planks. That would still be the walk, walk, walk bench. Wow, I'm having trouble tonight. I think <laughs> this is. I usually make jokes about having strokes on stream, but uh, I think this is getting serious now. Someone please send help. All right, what do you need? Five glass. All right. I can glass you. I'm gonna glass you a question. Anyway. <laughs> Fuck off. Fuck off, Quar. <laughs> Get out. Get out of your stream. You're drunk. Go home. And three copper wire. From the grinder. That's not the fucking grinder. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm really struggling. Which means three copper bars. Which means you... Uno, due, tre. Voila, that's everything we need to do all the things. I'm gonna go sell a scarf. Clearly, I don't need it. I don't wear... things from my neck to my waist. That's disgusting. Disgusting! Hi there. Not you. You! Total Tools, right above where the clothing store is, and the pool store is actually next to it. But whatever! Eat this! Eat this scarf! Alright, now. I want to do a thing where I go this way, and this way, and this way, and this way. Oh, wow, how do I get up there? There's a chest! Besides mine, my glorious bare chest here. Serious, bruh! Fine, this way. No, it's fine, fuck you. What? What was I just standing on? What? actually kind of work as a ladder? No? What? What are you talking about, game? Get this thing out of my way. And this thing. I mean, and this thing. There we go. <laughs> Eventually. Oh, I was standing on top of that thing. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten rid of it. What the fuck? This isn't really helpful to what I need to be doing, but you know. Chest! Big burly chest on that catwalk. Ow. Watch where you're going. Uh, be careful. What's this door? No. What's up here? No. What's over here? No. <laughs> Is there anything fun I can do? Right. Pee in the water source. I wonder how. For some reason I thought there was a loading screen in between these areas, but there isn't. Maybe I'm supposed to go from this side. No, I'm not. It would seem. So it would Wait, what? You can almost do it from here. What? What are you fucking talking about, game? Why would I open the chest from underneath? I don't know, maybe if you. No, that doesn't look like somewhere you can go. I don't know! Look, I don't have all the answers. I'm a fucking Twitch streamer. The only answer I have is to the question. What career path shouldn't you do with your life?
<laughs> the answer might surprise you. All right, with my cool bear chest, it's time to uh, go in the dungeon. Sewage plant, level one. Three things. Bird nests, lucky chests, and lucky sacks can be opened by right clicking in your inventory. Nice. Oh, hello, what are you? Mean. Gimme, there we go. Ooh, I got venom and teeth. And now I'm killing a slow gooey. This seems unjustified. Doesn't even come after me. What the <laughs> now you, you I feel like it's manslaughter, not murder. That's way cooler. Alright, what have we got in here? A thingy? A fucking hunch face of Notre Dame? Man, no, oh, and another fucking. <laughs> um. What's the snail from Spongebob called? Ha! Huh. That's fun. Whoa! Okay, I can still drop more. Is it following me? What? What? Where does it go? What? Where does it come from? <laughs> Where did it come from? Where did it go? Cotton-eyed boulder. Blade of Malice. Ooh. Me likey. Learn to craft a blade of malice. Ooh. Exit. Why would I? Oh. <laughs> Why would I exit now? Oh. I will exit now, actually. Ow! 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 Chicken? What? I'm confused. How long does uh, poisoning last, I wonder? What? I thought you were dead! How dare a fish not be fucking dead. <laughs> this is the worst sound effect for breaking boxes ever. Reprodic- Roasted meat. Don't mind if I do. Get roasted, meat. Ha ha. What is. Okay, then what are you? Like some kind of fucking. burn victim? Ha ha ha. Get roasted, meat. So how long do you think the uh, soju gag will last? I mean, it wasn't funny the first <laughs> So I imagine a long time. Seriously, these things don't come after you. Oh, maybe they do. Oh, it's an area of effect attacked. Attacked? Mm, this is getting bad. <laughs> attacked. Oh shit! Ha! Cut ya! Where were you hiding? Oh, he was just on the other side of the room. I assumed it was gonna be another slow cooker. Now, what are they called? Slow. Ha! <laughs> slow gooey. 
<laughs> a slow cooker. <laughs> Fucking may as well be. They've got a slow cooker on their back for a shell. Oh, uh, actually, that's probably. Oh no, they're called slow cookies because they're snails. Snails. It's like I just I added an extra layer to the joke. Stupidly. Um. Oh yeah. Oh no, what will I do? Oh no, wow, that was difficult. Oh shit! Uh, take me one of these and get stuck on it! There we go. <laughs> Jesus, mate. A small engine. Alright. You can get those in several places, I don't think that's really a reward. But whatever, not for a, maybe for a small chest, but not for the, not for the fancy chests. Oh shit. Oh fuck, the poison. Wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I can't believe I actually died in this fucking place. <laughs> I never died in this dungeon last time. <laughs> Kinda of dumb too. It's not exactly fucking Dark Souls dungeon, is it? Twenty-four kill. Yay! I'm a mass murderer. Ooh, boss. Hey, a boss. How you doing? Uh huh. Uh huh. Wow, nice. Ow, bad timing. Heh <laughs> Oh, but he's got a lot of health. Oof. And my timing is bad. Why do you look like a thing I'd see on the Cartoon Network? This is, this is just a fucking cartoon network character, I swear to god. Dutch. And do it again. Ah, oh, that was good timing, what are you talking about? Does this pause the game? Yeah, it does. <laughs> Can I stop him? No. Fifty <laughs> percent! There we go. Let's just do all of that again. Whack, whack, whack. Run, run, run. Oh, he's shoot! Whoa! Okay, he's changing up his tactics. A second phase! Unthinkable! Okay, don't run. Oh, what? It's a stun lock! Fuck you. Stun locks? Really, Mr. Cartoon Network? Are you serious? Oh, oh, what? What was that? He fucking stun locks you no matter where you run. What? This makes no sense. Now he's not. Okay, just stay close to him. For some reason, he can no longer hit you. Actually, this is a really good strategy. Not anymore. Ow. It's a third phase. Or something. Nope, stun lock. Ow. Chemical dropout. <laughs> okay, let's just make it fun of... Look, sometimes you have to drop out, okay? Don't fucking judge me. Just kidding, I didn't drop out. Can you imagine dropping out of a film course? That would be sad. <laughs> now nah, we're just finishing this, bro. Just, 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 there we go. There we go, there we go. Ah. Stage clear. Oh, I got a shirt. How fucking dare you. <laughs> Don't reward me 
for beating a boss with a fucking shirt. That is so offensive. I'm a bare-chested man. I'll always be a bare-chested man. Alright. Alright. Is that everything? Kinda looks like it. Alright. Vamanos! That was level 10 to 15. I better, I better leave. <laughs> that was uh, harder than I want to admit. Oh well, while we have a minute while we're heading back to camp, they're probably gonna have to kill a bird on the way there unless you chill the fuck out. Yeah, just chill. Cool. It is uh, that time where I bring up uh, something important. And by that time, I mean this is like the first time ever. Important things on this channel? <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> but really, though. Um, I've just today made a Twitter post. I know how fucking what an activist I am solve all my problems by complaining about it on Twitter. The modern kind of activism. Where nothing actually happens. But uh, But no, honestly, I um honestly it's gonna work this time. I um made the Twitter post, self promotion regarding a recent notice that Ubisoft has put out. And this is regarding. This is regarding the decommissioning of certain services of theirs. Um, uh, hold on. Sulfate. Uh, that, 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 that. Uh, oh, I didn't need to make that copper wire. I got some. Interesting. That, that. That, I think. I think. Um. Hold on. Alright, so what is this? Defense 20, max stamina 15, action points 1. Still don't know what the fuck action points are. Um. Or maybe it's to do with. Hold on, is it to do with socialization? Plus one action point while dating or playing. Ah, oh, it's something to do with socialization. I'm looking at selfie poses. Why the fuck would I? What a shitty thing to put at the end of a skill tree. What, I never said this game was completely free of faults. Alright, well forget that, because I'm not doing socialization anytime soon, really. Keep forgetting to go buy my, uh, my missus. Uh, defense 20? Defense 60, max stam- Ooh, yep. I guess we're wearing a shirt. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm so fucking disappointed. <sighs> Can't make me wear a shirt unless it gives me way more stamina and shit. Anyway, I was saying something important. This is why I don't do important stuff. Because uh, then I go on and complain about clothes since. <laughs> Ubisoft recently put out a notice that they will be decommissioning certain online services pretend I did like quotation mark, air quotes online services uh, on September 1st of this year now most of these are just the shutting down of multiplayer servers for old like for their legacy games you it's a lot of uh, 
Assassin's Creed and Far Cry and Anno and a couple of others. And I'm not here to complain about that. I understand that you can't keep multiplayer servers running forever for what, a couple to no players. As long as the you don't remove the multiplayer functionality, functionality like they did with Dungeon Siege 2 for some reason. Um, just, you know, shut down the servers and let people do their own thing. They can use Hamachi or other uh, similar um, third-party server hosting softwares. You know, that's... That's fine. That's understandable. There's nothing wrong with that. If they had just said that, I would not be speaking about this today. But I am, so you know that they didn't just do that. In their... In their opinion, or in the way they've set up fucking Ubisoft Connect, their... Um, their PC marketplace pa platform. Like uh, Steam or anything, for those who don't know what it is. Um... Out of my way, llamas. Colourful llamas. Fuck you. They have also decided that in this change, they think it's necessary to remove access to single-player DLCs for these same legacy games. Old Assassin's Creed games, Far Cry games, and all that. And there are some good fucking DLCs among those games. You know... Uh, Freedom Cry has a standalone version, but if you had used the DLC version, like you paid for that, suddenly you're getting that taken away from you for no reason. Or there's ones that you cannot, will not be able to play anymore, like Tyranny of King Washington. Unless again, you purchase their fucking remastered version, which I don't want to do anyway because it sucks compared to. But then, ones you'll never, there is no remastered version of Brotherhood, so you know, they, um, Da Vinci Disappearance will be going entirely. And that's some fucking shite. Um. Hey! Hey, why are you still here? Maybe I should throw my name into the hat to become a Dee Dee. Bye! Bye! Weirdo. Um. What was I saying? Yeah, so like the Da Vinci Disappearance, you'll never be able to play that again on PC via the Ubisoft launcher, which the game automatically registers itself to, to if you want the fucking regular gameplay updates. And the DLC, because it's not on the disc. I mean, maybe there are versions where it's on the disc, but the point is that like, Um, for most players, even if you've bought a physical copy like I have of the game, you know, the DLC was, well, it's, it's called downloadable content, it's not on the disc. It's from Ubisoft Connect, and they will be removing your access to that whether you've bought it or not. And that's an issue, because they're just taking back content to a game that they've already sold you separately and specifically. This is something you've purchased specifically to play. You know? I didn't fucking... buy a fucking Game of the Year edition. I bought fucking Da Vinci Disappearance. Uh, the DD discs you found were very affordable. Here's the DD stop sign. Okay. I only very recently bought some, after we finished, after I finished the Assassin's Creed Marathon, I went back and I was like, okay, oh, the next time I come back to these games, I want it to be in their complete form. So I went back and I started buying some DLC, starting with Assassin's Creed 4, only to now be told I have a limited time to use that fucking DLC, which I hadn't planned on doing anytime soon. I just fucking played through it. I should be able to buy something and use that fucking product as I wish. And it's a, it really is a big consumerist issue, because if they can, I mean, they, their reasoning is they call it a fucking license, not a fucking product. You have a license, you buy a license to use the content, or to access the content. You don't buy the content, which is, of course, absolute horse shit.
that's all. This games as a service bullshit is already bad enough without you fucking saying the shit you purchase isn't even fucking yours. You earn the game. You don't earn the DLC though. Which how, how do you earn a fucking game without earning like ten percent of it? But um, it's fucking stupid. Um. So yeah. So they made that statement, and I've just gone on Twitter and. Uh, Discord, and there'll be a message from Nightbot at some point. Um, stating that, you know, stating all of this information and how it's really shitty practice and everything, and that Ubisoft needs to be called out on it before and uh, get a lot of backlash, hopefully. Mm. Respectfully, but, you know, hopefully. Um, and that you should do it either by, you know, adding them at tw on Twitter or emailing them directly if you can find a good email. I've been trying to look for one besides their account support. They're very good at hiding where you can get your emails, but someone out there will be able to find give you an email where you can actually complain to someone who cares. Or someone, you know, other than the fucking customer support team who, you know, don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Um, otherwise it's totally reasonable to go to your, like, consumer, like, your local consumer, like, ombudsman, but um, I hate that word, ombudsman, Ombuds, ombudsman, or, you know, consumer council or whatever, consumer regulation organization of some sort and complain about this anti-consumers practice and I think you absolutely should I've offered to write your message for you if you don't have the time to do that all you have to do is send it from you know your fucking ID so it looks like it's more than just me fucking complaining or at the very least just share the uh, uh, the tweet I made. Because it's a real fucking issue. I swear to God, brass is real! <laughs> uh, what do I need? Four bronze plates, hardwood planks, bronze pipes, fiber cloth. Uh, we'll start with the bronze plank, bronze. Oh, hardwood planks, whatever. Ah, fika. Um, uh, and they're on the same thing. Bronze pipe too. Do I have bronze pipes? I feel like I have bronze pipes in here somewhere. So yeah, I mean, can you just imagine like fucking... <laughs> the comparison I almost made, but I decided not to put it in at the end. <laughs> it's fucking like... Because not everyone... Nobody has a fucking gardener. But if you had a gardener... You would be pissed if they fucking came back one day after they'd finished mowing your entire fucking lawn. Oh yeah, people don't have lawns either. <laughs> but if you have a lawn and you have a gardener, if you're one of those two people in the world <laughs> nowadays, if you're one of those two people, you'd be upset if the fucking gardener came back and dumped all that grass on your lawn again and stated you're not getting a refund or whatever, like you don't have the right... Like, you don't actually have the right for me to take this away. Like, I'm not required to take this away. You know, basically you pay for a service and they just don't do it. It's a ter- I told- <laughs> I told you it was a terrible fucking comparison. Or it's more like if you went through- the comparison I ended up using was if you go through a fucking, like, supermarket, you go through cashier and whatever. And, um... I know there was something else I was looking for, but I can't remember what it was. And they, um, then you go through the check, check out, this, the cashier starts bagging your items, then you pay. Then as you go to collect your bags, she fucking, or he fucking, or well they fucking, <laughs> shut up, fucking grabs them and starts taking items out and insisting you fucking leave. Bronze pipe. Oh, this is a copper pipe. Damn it. What's the other thing? Fiber cloth. I feel like I do have that too. 
Yeah, you can be imagine you'd be pissed. Like, and no refunds, no nothing. It's so stupid. Like, oh, I'm sorry. You only ha only actually paid for access and we're to the fucking food items, and we're taking that away now. This is what we call a bull shit. Do I have any more of this to somewhere else? No, I just had the one. It's just the one fiber cloth, actually. And no bronze pipes. I didn't imagine I would. Yeah. Hello, we can make bronze. And we can make fiber cloth. My Tuesday is tripping over pronouns. <laughs> My Tuesday is tripping over literally every word that I speaketh. <laughs> but thanks for <laughs> thanks for pick. Uzi, uh, for going for specifically the uh, political one there, Amber. How you doing? <laughs> bronze pipe. How uh, much do I need to make bronze pipes? Oh shit, I can't. Oh yeah, I can make bronze pipes. Two. So. Six. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm glad you're. <laughs> glad I have you to fucking pull me up on my shit. On my, prob on my problematic fucking. Not opinions, my problematic fucking speech patterns. Alright. That's all doing stuff. I still hate that this doesn't have a fucking animation. I can hear it going. Maybe I can't hear it going. I don't know, this one's weird. In the animation I can see is the lighting from the, like, leaves glitching out on it. I think that's what a, what a, uh, what's this called again? Skiver does. <laughs> it's just reflect light poorly. Alright, enhanced bronze sword. Pretty good. Fighting with fire in this drawing. As in, you're actually trying to draw physical flames and it's trouble. Meh. You're fine. Not a problem unless you purposely use the wrong words. <laughs> no. No. I'm... <laughs> I'm not a bigot. I'm just a fucking moron. <laughs> There's a difference. I swear. <laughs> um... So what did I need? I needed bronze. Uh, da -da -da -da. Add another five to that. Actually, can y'all, like, can you add another five to that for me? Thanks, darling. It's an important distinction. <laughs> yeah, the character is two flaming weapons. Oh, that's cool. It's neat. That's a good struggle to have. I'd rather, you know, struggle with trying to get something cool than... No, no, struggle to do something shitty. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. It's an important dis it is an important distinction. I'm... I don't hate black people. I just don't understand why there's a difference. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That could almost be construed as like... You know when people try to go the other way? It's like, I can't see color. Yes, you can. Just don't be a fucking dickhead about it. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm talking to Gale. Where's Gale? Look, blow a Gale up his ass. That doesn't make sense. Wonderful. I'm Wonderful. Sure be perfect for a date or dare. <laughs> okay. Is that it? No. You're okay. You're welcome. Sheesh. But yeah, fuck Ubisoft. I'm done. <laughs> that coffee table. Don't think I have that. 15 charcoal. I can do that. Two water tanks. What do we think? I think... Um... Why doesn't I get a relationship with Emily? 
Well, like when you potentially go out in the sun and get a tan, those people who live in so much sun that they develop a permanent tan. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what is this in reference to? Oh, as in comparing those to people who were like, look naturally tan, like Hispanic background. <laughs> and that's where different skin tones come from. Over generations, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Alright. Oh, he's only gonna pay me 50 bucks though. What about two water tanks? Yeah, I'm gonna take this one. <laughs> like, I'd love to do you a favor, but 50 bucks is not 780 bucks. You know what I'm saying, dog? Oh, look, there's Nightbot with the fucking agenda. Screw you, Nightbot. I seriously, take a look at that. <laughs> um, Alright, I'll stop using this platform to disperse my own uh, opinions on capitalism. Water tank. I have to... Water tank is in here, isn't it? It's not something I can just... Yeah. Oh, I can get the things ready. Four wooden boards and five stone bricks. That's easy enough. Oh, it's two of them, actually. More, please. Nightbot was taking a break, it deserved one. No, it doesn't. <laughs> don't! Don't stroke its fucking ego. Don't stroke Thoughtbot's ego. Don't stroke anything with Thoughtbot. She doesn't deserve anything. But contempt. Alright. What is it? It's 17, that's... 5.30? We have a bit of time. I have a bit of time. Hey Emily, uh, I'm building you some water tanks. I know that makes you... wet. Which is why I'm gonna build you a second water tank. <laughs> I'm sorry for you, just... <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> Would you like to play 200 goals for a weekly pass into the abandoned ruins? No, I would not! But I have to. Would you like to is weird. It's like when you pay for something, pay for something through PayPal, and it's like, would you like to donate an extra dollar to charity? And it's like, I should, but no, I would not like to. Uh, it's all dirt. Oh, there's a tiny bit of copper. <laughs> Call the cops, I'm being aggressively charitable. Copper? I didn't just make it. A... Joke about calling the police for bullshit. Copper. Uh, ooh, more. You know, I haven't played Minecraft in ages. And I booted it up for like 10 minutes. I think it was yesterday. <laughs> just to like see what was going on with it these days and I get like 10 minutes into it and I I dig and I mine some fucking like what's it, what are they call in the game raw copper and it's got the stupidest fucking sprite for it 
I'm like, what have they done to my boy? <laughs> Look how they massacred my boy. <laughs> I'm not saying it's probably, a, it's probably a decent fucking inclusion, but it just strikes me as so fucking odd when the last update I kind of played in any like dedication was like 1.7. Just, which is what, like 13 updates ago? <laughs> like 13 years ago. You know how you make a, a millennial feel old? You, you remind them that Minecraft was officially released in 2011. Yikes. Eleven fucking years ago. You've actually never played Minecraft? You've watched people break it, though? Break it? Interesting. You've never played Minecraft? That's... that's... that's unusual in this day and age. You're... you're... you're unusual... you're an unusual person, Am. You're unique! <laughs> How I'll say it. <laughs> Not playing Minecraft is like... in this day and age is like... Hmm. What's it like? It's like... Oh wow, I created a neat little pattern. It's like, uh... uh I don't know why this came to mind, but being a virgin at like 50. <laughs> I don't, that's a terrible comparison, but there you go. I don't know how old you are, Anne, but you're a virgin at 50. It never got on your radar. As if me being weird was ever up to de up to debate. <laughs> Fair enough. <sighs> Think I got enough copper yet? Probably. Oh, let's take this a second. It's a bit low. Lovely. Hey, kitty! May I wake you up? No, but I can stand on you while you sleep. Oh, and I can stand in you while you sleep. <laughs> it is a testament to how... I don't know about cats, but I know dogs can sleep through absolutely anything if they want to. If my dog doesn't want to get up, like... A fucking... <laughs> Tsunami isn't gonna stop her. <laughs> she'll get washed away, but she'll be comfy here. and snoozy as always. Wish I could sleep like that. The haunted cave is open now. What does that mean? What can I do in there? I guess we'll go find out. Where's the... That's not the calendar button. Ah, it's not even... It's not even Halloween yet. Jump in the gun a bit, aren't we, Mayor Gale? And I also have to make Ponce Blakes. I think I did. Four of them. Oh, I need more bronze. <laughs> God, everything requires bronze these days. Ugh. Add more to the fucking... How many bronze... How many bronze do I need for this? I need four plates. Three each. Fucking another twelve. Thank God I just went mining for all that. There we go, I'll see you in like three years, when you're done. Cats sleep through everything, especially when you need them to get off you because you need to use the bathroom. Uh, and my ex- yeah. Yeah, they're pretty good at staying put on your lap, no matter how much you move. My usual tactic is just to sort of like, roll over onto your side. <laughs> and like, let gravity do the work. 
The cats aren't really affected by gravity in the same way people are. They're just, they're just not. I'm looking after a cat at the moment. I swear she can fucking fly if she wants to. <laughs> and I swear it. She does it when you're not looking. You know, I'm not one of those assholes. <laughs> this is a great start. I'm not one of those assholes who are like anti vegetarian or anything like that. 100 bucks for a ticket? Jesus, this better be good. Too many drugs in the water down there? Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. I don't know what the fuck I'm on. Actually, I know what I'm fucking on. Starbucks coffee. <laughs> I'm on that fucking terrible shit right now. I thought cinnamon latte. That sounds that sounds nice. Okay, it might be nice if you got it from any other fucking cafe, but Starbucks. But Starbucks finds a way to ruin everything. <laughs> That's not just cocaine. Cocaine. Caffeine. Jesus. It's probably cocaine too. Um. Fucking Starbucks in their cocaine shakes. Shake canes? That's what I want to sell. While exploring the haunted cave, you should try to avoid the various traps and complete the, cla the clave. God damn this cocaine. In the shortest time to test your courage. Uh, shows how long it took to clear the cave, records the number of traps you've avoided. You can pick up the scare circle at the entrance, it'll be returned when you exit. I want to keep it. You hit a trap, something's coming, be sure to dodge. Object falling, captured by a ghost. Tap the interact button to continuously escape. What the fuck? I thought this was just an attraction. Why they actually try to kill you? There are artificial ghosts wandering around. How the fuck do you make an artificial ghost? Do you mean like a plastic one or an actor and fucking... The artificial doesn't apply. <laughs> Just... <laughs> we know so much about people's souls, we can just make new ones without bodies. Just screaming in endless fucking eternal tom- endless eternal torment. Well, what a redundant fucking phrase. If you hit them with the scare circle, you'll be able to detain the ghost badge. Now I'm gonna hit them with the fucking sword like I'm supposed to. Borrowed the scare circle. Do you mean borrow the scare circle? <laughs> this is an attraction, but I'm gonna fucking mine its minerals. <laughs> Souvenirs! How do I use this? What the fuck? Hello? What? <laughs> okay, maybe that's not... What? <laughs> Fucking thing. <laughs> what kind of an attraction is this? This is the cheapest shit. I can't believe I have my name on the fucking credits of this thing. <laughs> I don't want my name to be associated with this fucking shit. Oh, these are the ones you shoot. Okay. Gotta make sure you can still murder in an attraction. <laughs> Sorry, souls. Time. I know you artificial souls. You were born just so I could fucking shoot you. Send you back to fucking Neverland or whatever. Imagine living next to fucking cheap ass props your entire life. You're born to be equivalent to the fucking world's 
Weird as fucking inflatable wacky arm oh, man. Does not look like it has air in it. It looks. <laughs> it looks like muscles moving in that thing. Well, I don't know how Gale got these fucking souls of the damned, so. Oh no! The f <laughs> how is that artificial? Hand of God coming out of nowhere to fucking take you to hell himself. <laughs> Just a fun attraction. What the fuck? <laughs> this is the worst speed run ever. I'm already up to three minutes. I mean, you do live in the States. You do live in the States. That is a fact, I assume. Oh shit. God damn, it attracted too many more. Too many. Ah, oh, god damn it. This thing is too slow to attract more than one. What the hell? You mean this this attraction wasn't thought through entirely? Whoa. <laughs> All I did was put up a fucking sign and a tree. Where did all this other shit come from? Did fucking Higgins build the souls of the damned here? Is there another ch yeah, the chest up there is gone. Ah! Fuck off. Is that a projection, or are they actually abusing bats in here? How was that trap supposed to get you? <laughs> Quarren, stop asking questions. And take a drink. Like, this is no fucking McCamey Manor, if you know what I'm saying. And um, you live in the States, hopefully you get that. Actually, I'm hoping you turn around now and be like, actually, I went to McKamey Manor. I would like to meet someone who actually did that. Nope, ain't got a clue. Fucking what? <laughs> Bet you're American, you should know literally everything that exists in America. That's so silly. <laughs> Every fucking insect and plant as well. <laughs> Grabbed by fucking Satan himself again. I sure hope that shit's made out of foam, like those- Like if you drop a pumpkin from a high enough height on someone's head, they're gonna fucking die. Is that it? <laughs> How are we supposed to get tourists with this? <laughs> well, on the fucking TripAdvisor, I give that like- a negative five out of ten. Hey, boy. So how do I spend the badges? Fact from Haunted Cave can be used at the gift exchange. Where's the gift exchange? Virtual sin no. I think there's a gift exchange in Gale's office, but I don't know. And do I really want Halloween themed things? 
You know what this bright, sunny summer really needs? This <laughs> fucking <laughs> plastic skeleton I could put on my lawn, which will convince absolutely no one in the clear fucking light. I can understand why you wouldn't put Halloween in winter, because it's just, you don't want to be walking around at night. But you wouldn't do it in fucking summer either. I mean, for one thing, melted chocolate. Terrible. I forgot to check my mail. Happy to announce that we finally opened- Ah! Oh, I had no idea. We opened the haunted cave attraction? Wow. What was in this slot? My axe, right? Yeah. Um, I don't want ghost badges. Fuck off, ghost badges! Fuck off, ghost! Wait, no, it has. Oh god, I can usually do a New Zealand accent. Yeah, fuck off, ghost. It's that Starbucks cocaine. I swear. Can't do it, Voss. Um, this should be at least enough to make my sword, right? Yeah, which will go up from 45 attack to 60. Nice. Yay! Now we can do the second level of a thing. I think we have time to do that right now. Let's go! No, shut up! Oh, hi there. Hi! Hi! I'm tempted to check out the Amber Island Haunted Cave during the weekend, but I'm a little <laughs> afraid to go by myself. Yeah, I'd be afraid to go by myself too. You want someone with you to, like, absorb half of the shittiness that is that experience. <laughs> I know I want to date you, but I will not do the Haunted Island thing ever again. <laughs> like, some things that even I won't do for pussy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and one of those things is ever go in that fucking shitty attraction ever again. Gotta have standards, you know. Gotta have bound healthy boundaries. <laughs> if someone comes up to me and like is like, if a girl comes up to me and is like, you know, I really liked the uh, the haunted cave attraction on Amber Island in my time at Portia. I'm gonna know that's that's an immediate red flag to me, you know. Although God, I hope some girl comes up to me and just says that one day out of nowhere. <laughs> oh. That would be a lovely conversation. <laughs> oh, by the way, my name's fucking Quarren. <laughs> but I too have an opinion on haunted cave attraction in my time at Portia. Level 2! I think that would be the weirdest dating criteria ever. It's also really easy to fill. Look, I'm a flexible guy. <laughs> Just don't want, like one shitty thing. How hard is that? I'm gonna put that on my Tinder profile. Please don't like the haunted gate. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make a new Tinder account for Quarren rather than me. There's shit like that on it. Jesus! How many of you are there? I'm gonna have a Tinder stream one day. <laughs> gonna, gonna give you a walkthrough on the game of dating. <laughs> It'll be a good, you know, cautionary tale. Fucking move! Ah, I dodged that shit. Eat that. 
Giant apple slice, that sounds helpful. Small silicon chip. Okay. Okay. There we go. One out of six. I did it. This looks like places where people would spawn behind you. No, I guess not. Yeah. Yeah, what is shooting me? Oh shit. Oh look, they spawned behind me. I was right. I should never doubt myself. At least that's what my therapist tells me. The boy was she know. Valve? No, they had nothing to do with this game. <laughs> Valve again? No, I tell you, they had nothing to do with this game. Small Engine? Well, that's a shitty company name. Jump Dancer. This <laughs> was called that. Speaking of shitty names. Jump up. No. Ow. How did you? Oh god, another one? Alright, there's that fucker's gone. Oh no, the same one. Didn't kill him. Okay, we good? I think we good. Oh, hello there, sweetie. Regenerate health. Wait, that was an entire level? <laughs> I bet they thought they were a genius for coming up with that. Get this, we'll have a tiny corridor, but the enemies will spawn behind them before they can continue. You mean like every other fucking level? Wait, you all have been doing that too? Shit. <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't step in that, but I don't know. What about dating this guy? What if this is your type? Where do you find me a man like this? <laughs> like, uh, what was its name? Pierre Glump or something? Ow, walked into that one. Oh, I can't stand in this. Can I? Maybe. No, I can't. It was poisoning me. Okay. Was it? Was that what was poisoning me? Or was it the fish? It was that. Don't do that. <laughs> Did these heal me? Or are they just stamina? Shite, they're just stamina. Uh, lubricant? That'll heal me. <laughs> Get myself all lubed up. Shouldn't say that. <laughs> no, I absolutely should say that. Oh well, I have three lives for every bloody level. Probably be fine. Ow. Ow. Maybe. Good boy. Good must fiend. Should probably actually eat one of these for stamina. Mm. 
So what is it called? Plier rim? Plier rim? Plier rim? The fuck is that? I thought it said plier pimp for a second. Like someone who pimps out pliers? Like, like the things you pull out, like, thorns with? <laughs> no, no, those are tweezers. Pliers are for bigger things, like DIY. The things you pull out nails with? Ah, he turned around. That's horse shit. <laughs> it's horse shit that a guy can turn around. God damn. I can't turn around. <laughs> Not without like three joints aching. Come on. Simple circuits. You're a simple circuit. Small silicon chip. Ow. Oh no, that didn't actually hurt me. Okay. terrible. Jumped right into that one. This is such calming music for a dungeon. Kill everybody. Even this game is encouraging you to be a mass murderer, it's still such a chill game. I love that. I want a... I want a game like fucking Hatred, but set to, um... Like... Wiggle songs. I want to be throwing out grenades and them going, mashed potato, mashed potato. Wait, I don't think the Wiggles were a thing outside of Australia. Look them up. There's another thing that will make you feel old, for those in Australia. The Wiggles now do concerts primarily aimed at adults. Same songs, but, you know, for nostalgia trips. <laughs> there we go, nostalgia culture is officially being sold to millennials. You're old enough for that now. You're old enough to be a fucking target demographic for that. sold an updated version of the snack. No, what was the better one? Lun Lunchables? Munchables? Including a small detail like that is cute, but the fact that I keep seeing it everywhere means I know that these are just like three rooms that they paste together in slightly different variations. Probably would have noticed anyway, but you know, now it's more obvious. Not enough stamina! <sighs> That's what my wife always says. Oh, I'm about to die anyway, I shouldn't have done that. My turn. Copper coil. Shitty treasure. Alright, bus time.
What? It's the same boss. Oh, that sucks. I love this game, but it's not free of critique. <laughs> there we go. There goes one life. Wish I had died in the last room, because then I... Ah, oh, it doesn't restore stamina anyway. Don't think I'm going to have enough stamina to do this anyway. Ah, oh, what? I got the timing on that. Bullshit! It's actually better to do an extra attack. It helps me... It helps me time it. You want to be a bit late. That's kind of strange. Yeah. Well, that was a bit early. But you don't want to be right on time. Or what you think would be right on time. Because you want the invincibility frames when you get attacked. Alright, I'm about to run out of stamina. Oh shit, he's on his phase two. Now, what do I have? Literally nothing. Blade of Malice, I've already got that. Well, that's shit. Um, I'm just gonna leave. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I'm gonna just pop out of here. Forgot to bring food with me. Most of the loot that I'd need anyway. Actually, I don't need what I I don't know what I need half this stuff for. Ooh, chest. More loot. Crystal necklace. Well, that sucks. Oh fuck! Forgot you can't swim. Oh god, what am I supposed to do? I suppose I just jump down here. Whoa, never That's how gravity works here? Okay. Oh hey doggy. Hi doggy. Oof, oof. What can I gift you? Nothing. I can just Walk up. 85 degree surfaces. Lovely. No, no, no. I leave. I leave. Alright. That was... That was fun. Did y'all have fun? I had a ruddy good time. We uh, beat on some, <laughs> I don't know, unfortunate, like, leper victims. <laughs> I don't really know what the fuck those things are. You know, I only just realized, for those that play WoW, the whole Nomragon dungeon, other than the one boss guy at the end who's, like, an actual villain, the rest of them are just... Sick, and don't know what they're doing. And you just kill them. Kind of weird. <laughs> just, just exterminating. Kill it with fire. Uh, all right, let's let's take a let's take a nap, a quick nap overnight. A quick nap for eight hours, you know. Uh, yeah, I can sell that. I've got you, you, not you. Not you! No, not you. So, uh, you. Whatever. Uh, 
Wow, when the camera gets in close enough, the blue egg thing on my head disappears. And for a second, I think I'm normal. Uh, must be nice. Okay, um... Do, 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 do. What do I need in this? Stone bricks... Oh, is that for the other thing? That's for the other thing. Uh, bronze pipe and plates. That's what I need. Let's we'll start with the two pipes. And the rest is for planks. Uh, six. We need six, so what... What's the extra two for? So for the... I don't know. Also, haven't I done the planks? Yeah, let's put these in. And you. Two of these. Alright. Is there anything happening today? On the calendar? No. Hmm. What can we do? We can. Check what else I need. Did I need bronze for the water tank? Is that what? No, but I need wooden boards. What's the extra two bronze for? No idea. But I need to make three of these. I might as well just make as many of these as I can. Yeah. Why are you all running? Where are you going? Something happening? You should probably... Actually, what do you think, uh... Do you think, uh, 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 uh girl would like some topazes? I don't know what else these would be for, but gifting. Um, these. The fetch is a good price. Now let's gift them. I don't need money. I need love. <laughs> Got $99,000 and a bit cheap one. Actually, I feel like I shouldn't give her the topazes yet. Just get like um, social abilities first. Social um, social skill. <laughs> it's not a way to say it, but social skills. But I mean like the skill tree skills, not like actual social skills. Although I need those too. <laughs> but that's IRL. Why don't we go and mine and... God, what is with the... Gravity in this fucking game. Okay. I don't really need anything specifically, so let's just... Continue our project here. So, what's up? I did have something else to talk about, but I can't remember what it is now. What a good, what a good host I am. 
I had a conversation topic, but I don't know what it is. What was it? Not just the Ubisoft thing, there was something else. What could it possibly have been? fun experience the other day. I, um, on Sunday, my, um, I had a primary school friend that I hadn't talked to since primary school, so, you know, 11 years, 11 to 12 years. Um, I had them reach out to me on Facebook, you know, as people from your past tend to do. <laughs> And we decided to catch up again. And we went to a Vietnamese restaurant of of his choice that he really liked. That's a fair, a fair restaurant. And they were just because of that, I learned how to pronounce fair. And um, it's a nice place. It was actually a really nice place. A little cheap place, with friendly stuff and everything. Very good food, you know, like, one of those little dingy places that's like better than five-star restaurants, because, you know, it's like, they actually give a shit beyond just, you know, we're a five-star restaurant. Let's act like we give a shit. <laughs> um, oh, I did, hold on, character, let's improve my character, because it's shite. <laughs> And endurance usage decreases by three. I don't really have a problem with that. Oh, that would be good. Sprint longer? Yeah, we're gonna go that one. Yay, I can sprint longer. And, um, yeah, apparently he goes to this place so much he's become friends with, like, the owners. Which is really good when you're his tag along because even though you don't know them and you're like, who the hell is this? You still get the benefits. Neat. So, so I, I didn't know they do this, but apparently you can get alcoholic bubble teas. Like I'm not too familiar with bubble teas. I've had a couple of them in the, over the years since they became a thing here in Australia. But, um, an alcoholic one, it's less like a tea and more like a... It's kind of like a margarita, it's a frozen drink. But it still has the pearls in it. And then it just has like a shot of uh, liquor of your choice in it. For me it was vodka. And, um, they also had the option to like add an extra shot to it, which is amazing, like... There's not usually too many, like, you know, family-friendly restaurants where you can, like, be like, a double shot in my fucking Slurpee with sugar bowls in it. Sugar bowls. <laughs> but this place did it. But I was like, you know, I'm driving 30 minutes to get back to where I'm staying after this, and, you know, I, I'm trying to save money. I'm not gonna buy an extra shot for my frozen cordial with extra sugar. <laughs> um... But we ordered over the app and it, um, it's like, you know how you go to restaurants and they have a QR code on the table and you can do your ordering like through like a service like Mr. Yum or something. So I did that, but theirs is a little different in that it doesn't track every person's order individually. And the table number is just so the, you know, waiters know where to take the food, like it usually is. It actually just congregated the orders on the table into one receipt. So you don't know who 
is ordering what. I mean, they wouldn't know anyway, but it's not like you put your name down or anything and like they're like, hmm, are you a Quarren though? <laughs> Do you look like a Quarren to me? I don't know what an actual Quarren looks like. But yeah, so he, the guy brought a, brought this um, alcoholic bubble tea, Slurpee, <laughs> and um, actually Slurpee is just the 7-Eleven name for it, it's a slushy, isn't it? Hey, we found another corner. Yeah, so he brings it out and he puts it in front of my friend who he really knows well, thinking it's like his. And he goes to him, he's like, hey, I put in an extra shot for ya. It's like, cool. <laughs> it's for me. <laughs> well, thanks for the, <laughs> I don't know you, but thanks for the, like the free extra fucking shot. In my fucking cordial. My frozen cordial. God, that's how you used to make, like, homemade icy poles when you were kids. Just get those, like, icy pole shaped containers, put cordial in it, and usually they'd have sticks attached to them. That was fun. I like getting free expensive alcohol in my <laughs> stupid fucking. <laughs> Alcoholic bubble tea slushy. It sounds like a really cool place. Honestly, it was. And the food was actually fucking. Like, it was amazing. It was a good drink. I got bubble gum. Uh, not bubble. Blueberry flavors. It didn't really taste like blueberry. And it was green for some reason. I don't think the owner knows what a blueberry is. And can't seem to work it out just by the name somehow. But. <laughs> But it was good, and the, the food was amazing. And it's cheap, and I'm like, I should probably live here like my friend does. <laughs> if I get... <laughs> you know, if, if I get really chummy with the, uh, with the owner, maybe I too can just... Maybe I can just go in there and get all my alcohol from there, just... Hey, can I get a free shot? No, I don't... <laughs> I don't want it in a bubble tea. Oh, that's what the extra two were for. I didn't make enough bronze plates. Oops. Just get all my alcohol from there. It's just the place now, isn't it? Oops. Damn it, we could have been done by now. Not really. Yeah, I'd go back there. What are you doing? <laughs> okay. Okay, matey. <laughs> Let's pretend that was normal, what you were just doing. Alright. I like I don't need this in my inventory. Oh, and I have enough. I oh, will do it tomorrow. We'll do it tomorrow! But I was still driving. Luckily, I'm cool with that. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get you to make another two of these. Lovely. And all my extra stone, because I have a shit ton. I'm gonna make a bunch of stone stools for money. make a hundred. That's a hundred and ninety-nine. There we go. And we'll go sell them. Let's run real fast, because I can do that now. Oh, not real fast. Like, run faster, longer. Oh, it actually does seem like it lasts quite a, a decent amount longer. And I have another point I could put into it. I like that. Alright. 
You buy these. 800 bucks? That's not too bad. And you buy this. Lovely. Alright. Still just waiting on bronze plates though, we can't do much. Hmm. Could go back into the mine, but I think I'm out of stories. <laughs> My last story was just about drinking. More. <laughs> Don't we? Don't we have the quests? Just the stable. Uh, nah. Both those things are busy right now anyway. Uh, da -da -da -da. You! Hi! Hi! Reservations about a transportation system. All right, we're gonna win this time. I swear to God. Okay. Fuck you. Okay. Fuck you. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. I told you I'd win. One more time? Yes. So don't walk away. Don't say, wanna play again? And walk away immediately. Hey, Adrian. I hate you. I hate you! Am I just great or the greatest? I should use that. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, son! Get wrecked, son! I'm getting better at this. Oh well, stupid game. Well, that's a different tune from I'm the Greatest. Hi! Hi! I have some reservations of. What kind of gifts do you like? Uh, you like. Well, for a religious girl, you like highbrow things, huh? Is that a fucking wedding ring? I'm not gonna gift you a wedding ring. Before we've even dated. <laughs> How desperate does that seem? Um, social. How are we doing with her anyway? Still a stranger. I play rock, paper, scissors with you all the time. We know each other very well. What are you talking about? Not even half a heart yet. God damn. She cruel. She cold. She cold as hell. Maybe we can upgrade our place in some way. Let's do that. What do you sell? What are you selling? Let us. So. Gate. We can fix the gate or the fence. Oh, we can just change the appearance of it. Wooden fence portion, stone portion, marble portion, wow. When, hmm. That is very, that is too fancy. I hate that. <laughs> I'm just a working class man. What is the upgrade for this? Medium constructs can be assembled. Oh, I don't think I'm there yet. I don't think I'm there yet, you know what I'm saying? Marriage unlocked, interesting. Wow, that's a lot of... Bonuses. Wowee! But it's not that expensive, either. Okay, what about a coop? And a shed and a stable. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. What about the other part of the store? Is there something we can get from here? Wallpaper Summer? Uh, what do we think? Summer flooring? Do you expect me to renovate my house every fucking season? 
Oh, you got summer flooring, but it's a winter. You're kind of a weirdo, Quarant. Red wallpaper, simple wallpaper. Large bookshelf. Oh, do they have different effects? No, okay. Must be used inside level 2 house. I can't even put flooring in? Damn. Divide the yard. Oh, that's cool. You can put in extra fences. Ooh, you can put in a fountain. Wallpaper sky. Ah. Ooh, I want the sword and shield. Floor. Um, I don't know, I kind of like the shack look compared to fucking blue checkered wallpaper. That's disgusting. Um, pink wallpaper? Level 2, how dare you! <laughs> Not my pink palace. <laughs> now that I've made that joke, we have to do it. <laughs> pink palace it is. Uh... Get my money's worth out of this place. Uh, which way is closer? Like this way. Well, dickhead, I'm wearing a fucking fedora in a cave. <laughs> I'm so pale, I'm afraid of getting sunburnt down here too. Honestly, that's that's me, IRL. <laughs> Alright. Incel? What? That's quite an accusation from being pale. Jesus. <laughs> I went from zero to a hundred real fast. Wearing a photo. Oh, you're thinking of, you're still thinking of a neck beard, which is pretty close, but I don't think it's quite the same. That's. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> All pale people are fucking incels. Ugh. <laughs> Hot take from Am. Close enough. Yeah, I, I suppose. I don't know. Where, what are the distinctions? I mean, a neck beard. Doesn't necessarily imply you're an incel, but I feel like and being an incel doesn't necessarily imply you're a neckbeard. Just a sexless misogynistic prick. I mean I guess they're both misogynistic, but I guess it's the way they go up. I don't know. Maybe you're right. You can be an incel and what about the incels who can't grow beards? Like me! <laughs> I think one is more political, yeah. Although, now that you say that... Oh no, it's not- it's a chin beard. It actually stops before the neck. It's actually kind of strange. Kind of looks like a fake beard. <laughs> Well, now, now my guy feels insecure in so many ways. Incel cure. <laughs> mm. 
That's what we should just call them. They're all very incel cure. You ever met an incel in real life? I'm trying to think, I don't think I ever. Although, they're harder to discern in real life than... <laughs> they make themselves known on the internet with the anonymity. They like it that way. I don't think I've ever at least met a neckbeard in real life. I guess I just... <laughs> I go to all the wrong places to hang out with the cool people. You don't think you have. You know one tuber said he used to be one. Yeah. I mean... Which YouTuber? I mean, not that it matters. I mean, if he... If he got better, if he grew... If he developed some... Perspective... And stop like I used to. Like, as a teenager, I thought that, like, that whole nice guys finish last thing was, like, real psychology. <laughs> I was a complete idiot. I wasn't, like, you know, I wasn't blaming women for my problems or anything, but it was, I thought that was real, at the very least, until I was, like, Actually, maybe I should just shut the fuck up. They didn't hear. I love my people who were those things but grew out of it, rather than people who were just like always had perspective. Because that's easy. It's harder to change your whole worldview about your core beliefs about something than it is to, like, already have, um, decent ones, you know? So I'll always admire that. Quora said Neckbeard is a slur, Incel is a jerk, Megtow is less of a j- <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot to- Oh, so many levels. So many pills. Red pill, black pill, blue pill, purple pill. One of a pill. Neckbeard is a slur? So it's not actually a different category, it's just a fuck. But incel is used as a slur now. I mean, if you go on Reddit at least. <laughs> So hoping with like my last strike I'd break through to the other side of the tunnel. Can't believe Quora is still around. I just <laughs> that took me a second. Quora? Wow. <sighs> I think because Meg Megtow is fucking activism. Incel is just fucking shitty beliefs and shitty behaviors. Megtow has that too. But they, uh... They don't worry so much about the anonymity. Like, they're actual activists. Like, there's, there've been... There have, unfortunately, been, like, Megtow protests before. God, Quarren gets so political these days. <laughs> Remember when he used to just be a fun street? <laughs> no, me neither. <laughs> kind of like straight pride. Yeah, that too. Yeah, that's... yeah. Yeah, and um... Trans-exclusionary straight pride as being different to that as well. That's stupid.
Alright. I did your fucking bus stop. Now, water tank. Are you done? You're done. Alright, what do I need? Need... Eight wooden boards. It! Yeah, it's all dumb. Just let people live their lives. Exactly. Exactly. If they're not harming anyone, don't fucking harm them. It's like... So it's, like it's one sentence to live your life by. It's like one. Like, how fucking hard is that? One sentence is too hard for some people. Six done. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, that. So many jobs getting done. Look at me go. How are you doing, baby? Oh yeah. God, I love my bronze. All right, let's put this one where it belongs. Oh, that one's taken. Silly me. There's one over here I need. No, that's the farm thing, isn't it? Oh no, there's one down there. Oh! <laughs> You've run this fucking bus stop down. <laughs> Let's not use public transport to install the public transport in any way. Fucking run. I was really disturbed when I found out. Like, do you know how there are flags for uh, different sorts of pride? Like, obviously, the most common one is the rainbow flag for LGBTQ. Um, then there's, you know, trans flag. Asexual flag, all that sort of stuff. I was really disturbed a few weeks ago when I found out s some other flags which exist. One of them, which is why this came to mind, was the trans exclusionary straight pride flag. Like, fucking hell. <laughs> Come the fuck down. You know, if your name is getting that long, then you're in the wrong. You're making too many fucking exclusions. Or well, literally. You're making too many fucking conditions when your name gets that fucking long. Your beliefs should be simple. Where well, they can be. Um, but yeah, that was a bad one. Then, of course, there was the fucking... Um, map flag. If you don't know what map flag, what maps are, God bless you. You lucky, lucky person. Uh, oh, she's all the way up there. God damn it, she's gone to church. Is something happening today? No. Um, and then there was a fucking bestiality flag. God damn. <laughs> oh, no one gets flags anymore. The moment fucking maps and bestiality people get flags, it ruins. You ruined it. What was the other one? There was a fourth one. Can't remember what that one was though. I know you're in church, I know you're trying to like concentrate on whatever, but here's your water tanks. Have fun carry carrying the back down the fucking mountain. Oh, 
Ah, oh, she plays piano. Nice. Let me help. <laughs> Let me talk to you during service. I have some reservations about a transfer. Oh, you have some reservations? Oh, it's bad that I probably... <laughs> she got up just to tell me, actually, I don't want to play rock, paper, scissors. It's a bad that uh... I'm the one installing the transport system. If I'm trying to date her. What's the bet there's an incel flag? Oh god. You know I have to fucking look this up now. Oh, it's gonna be terrible. <laughs> does the Steam overlay come up on stream? I don't think it does. No, I'm just standing there, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, there is, but isn't that... So basically it's a... White to black with shades of grey in the middle of it, but isn't that already the asexuality flag or something? Oh no, there's more than one. Oh, there's... no oh, <laughs> fucking incels, they can't get the shit together, who knew? Who would have guessed?! There was more than one flag. And one of them was called the fucking Sans version. That was... <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to make... Now, if I got all of these things... So, yeah, I've got all those. Yeah. I think I need to upgrade... I'll get an upgraded version of something. Uh, have I got a blender? Maybe we should make a blender. Why not? I don't know what the blender is for. I think it's for dyes, actually. Copper bar. Well, I actually have those in my inventory. Um, simple circuits and grinding blades. Well, I have plenty of simple circuits. Can I search? Hmm, no. That would be nice. Search function. Are you a simple set? No, that's husbandry data. Mm hmm. Uh, simple circuits. Two of those, please. And do I have any grinding saws? I might just. I might just. But I don't. Here, I assume. Grinding sword. Is that different to a grinding blade? Grinding blade. Grinding. Yeah, it definitely is. From work table level 2. Well, I've got work table level 2. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> I went straight past it. Carbon steel bar. Fuck. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna s cancel you now. Uh, you can do bronze, can't you? You can do bronze. Yeah, you can do bronze. You do the bronzes from now on. Just keep pumping them out. Carbon steel, iron ore, and charcoal. Okay. How many of those do I need? So I need two grinding blades, which require. Two, so four. So four charcoal. Four charcoal. And I'm running low on wood, so there's something I can do for a minute. Yay! I love having chores. I actually do in this game. It's funny games like this where it's like... In, in real life, everyone fucking hates chores. But in this game, give me a chore, give me a chore, give me a chore! Hey, 
Hey! Nice. And that will go into that one. So I can sprint even longer. It's gonna be great. I hate sprinting in real I hate running in real life too, but I love being able to run in this game. You know. People, when I make a joke about I'm getting old to people that are actually older than me, they really, they really don't like it. There's something, <laughs> there's something in it where they just can't see the irony when someone young makes a joke about being old. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's like personally offensive to, I mean, I, I mean, it would be if it wasn't, you know, irony. It's the one kind of irony people can't seem to get. But, um... Probably because things are just always getting worse. You're like 40 or something, aren't you? <laughs> yes! Thanks! So far... <laughs> just to sum up... Tonight, Ah, Mysterio, you have made fun of my speech patterns, called me an incel, and then called me f 40 or something. <laughs> glad we're on, I'm glad we're on the same page. But, um... So I'm 23. And... I, um, I injured my foot, like, two and a half weeks ago now, and it hasn't, like, healed at all. So I'm going around, like, I've been limping for, like, two weeks. And I'm like, oh, when I was younger, you know, like, even just, a, even, like, two years ago, I would have, like, walked away, gotta entertain yourself somehow. I thought, <laughs> ah. I know, I know I don't do it. I know I'm not fucking here to entertain, of course. But like two years ago, I would have walked away after injuring my foot, like, and it would have been better in 10 minutes. But already at 23, two weeks later, and nothing has fucking changed. <laughs> and then when people hear me complain about that, they're like, oh, that's fucking nothing. I injured my foot just standing up on a chair, just standing up after a chair. And it doesn't get better for 30 years. Did you go to the doctor? Nah, nah, it's not. It's not that painful or anything, it's just kind of rough. Like, when I say I'm limping, it's a very slight, slight limp. I'm not like... <laughs> I'm not like needing to brace myself on shit all the time. It's like, yeah, it's like, <laughs> just because you're older and you hurt as well, that invalidates my hurt. That invalidates my owie. I'm mature. I can have owies. <laughs> uh. Oh, you're done. Lovely. I'm going to leave you to do that. And I'll uh, give you some more of that. You didn't know that's how it works? Just like the the single most miserable person is allowed to complain? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I knew that. I was just like... 
It never really happened to me personally until now. I don't know. I'm a straight white guy with parents who were able to retire at, like, uh, 55. I don't know. No, retire at 60. <laughs> Apparently I'm not allowed to complain about anything. Um, what was I doing? I feel like I was doing something. Oh, I know. I saw that I had... Stone stools I can make. Let's see how long I can run now. My speedy new shoes. Yeah, I mean, what could you possibly have to complain about? I know. Like, just because my parents have money just automatically means I have money of my own? Surely. <laughs> Mental illness isn't a thing. No siree. <laughs> Something millennials made up so they could feel special. And when I go online, there's bullies like Amisteria who make fun of me. Cyberbullying me. Alright, come on. You're Gen Z. Yeah, I am. But people still complain about millennials. They're not complaining about Gen Z just yet. It's still all the millennials fault. That's the, that's the typical narrative. They don't really make the distinction. Actually, some people just don't make the distinction between Gen Z and millennial. Oops, that's, I need to turn it into a thing first. Don't steal our terms, child. I'm not! I like being Gen Z. It means I can slide under the radar while everyone complains about millennials. Let's put the blender back here. What can I do with you, anyway? Oh! I thought this was for dyes. Oh, it is for dyes as well. You can- In the same thing where I can make my fucking milk teas, I can also fucking make dog food and fertilizer! Ew! I'm not gonna stick animal feces in the same blender I use to make my freaking apple juice. Herbal juice is so, <laughs> so refreshing, so good, such a good detox, you know, herbal fruit, herbal juice with slight traces of uh, fecal matter. And again, there is fecal matter anyway. Oh, but this is how you make dog food. Good to know. Flour. Ah, let's go get a doggy. Urine therapy. I am in therapy. Are you? <laughs> Urine therapy. Ugh. Uh, let's make another DD stop. Hardwood planks, let's do that. Real quick, like. Get you to keep making that. Uh, fiber cloth. That's the thing. That is the thing, yes. There you go. And then it is bronze plates, which is just bronze, and bronze pipes. Which I can make nine off, goddamn. It's just... So there's nothing else, no other ingredients needed, so let's just put a bunch more of these in there. Just keep making bronze, because I'll need a lot of it now. How many bronze pipes do I need? I need... Twa! Alright. 
Yeah, that's cool. Now I'm gonna go make dog food and get me a papa. I just need two flour. From blender. Oh, I can make flour in the blender. Oh, nice. Flour and dog food? Wait, salt, flour... Do you put flour in dog food? I suppose. It's a filler, isn't it? That's really bad dog food, though, that uses fillers. Is that maybe... no. Actually, I've never really looked too closely into what's used to hold dog food together. Like, dog rolls is just, like, meat. Like, really heavily processed meat. And it's the packaging that gives it its shape. What about not like dry dog food? Is that flour? To harden it? Maybe. Just drive past two shirtless dudes running in the <laughs> Just drove past two shirtless dudes running in the rain. Ah, oh, That's... That's so ghetto. <laughs> that's so country. Uh, I bet they're... Th they think they're top shit for that. I think they're like prime specimens. They even use that fucking shitty wording. <laughs> prime specimen. Did they have like built bodies or is it like two fat dudes running? <laughs> because maybe, because that just sounds like fun. Oh, that was quick. Probably, but it looks about 23. <laughs> yeah, oh, that was me then, clearly. <laughs> you just drove past me, and also me. Shirtless and running in the rain. How long would that take? Ah, oh, that's gonna be real quick. All right, let's go get us a doggy then. Well, while we're out there, we may as well grab some food and head into the dungeon to finish off that boss. Uh, actually, let's just make... Wait, I can just work from a recipe in the cooking set, can I? Can I not? Or is it the grill? Oh, it's the grill. Easier and easier. Five meat? That'll be fine. For just the boss. Come back and get more. Oh, it's gonna take five hours though. Ah, fuck it, we'll be fine. I mean, if you can project copies of yourself to America, I think you could be making some good money. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna sell myself to the Australian military. <laughs> Scare, scare all the Americans away with by projecting fucking tall, skinny, pale Australians into their country. Like a fucking cryptid. America has Bigfoot, has... Um, I was about to say, oh, Chupacabra is like New Mexico as well as Mexico, right? Whatever. Has Bigfoot and also has that random fucking tall, skinny, pale Australian kid turns up in places. Actually, let's get doggy first. Priorities. Actually, no, we'll come back that way. Oh, I've got to go through the whole thing again? Oh, never mind. No, I, I definitely need food for that. Shit. You have to do it in... Pennsylvania has the squonk? Isn't... Isn't that a fucking joke from Rick and Morty? Oh, no, that's squanch. <laughs> 
What the fuck is the squonk? Oh, it has the moth man. There we go. Woof. Good boy, come on. I'll take you to Polly. No, mine now. <laughs> woof woof. Mine is talking to a dog. <laughs> Build your relationship to it. Whenever I talk to my dog, she gets she just fucking walks away. Come on, squaps. Ow! What the fuck? I'm just walking my dog! What else is it? Is it the Dover Demon, that's in American Dover, not England Dover, right? I think that's American Dover. Isn't that Massachusetts? Yeah. Pretty sure. I like the Dover Demon. That was a good one. Alright, where the fuck is Polly? There you are. Hanging out on the street at night. Scraps. It's Look, a crypt is so ugly, it just you. cries all the time. It's gotten so big. What has he been eating? <laughs> Again, you're just describing a neckbeard. Come on. He's just describing me. <laughs> He's gotten so big. What has he been eating down there? Flour. There a couple of old relics with storage food inside. Not sure if they're even edible, though. Oh, Scraps. You ran off because you found a better food source? <laughs> Offended. Maybe we should have left you there. I'm <laughs> Just kidding. I'm glad you're home. Thanks again for your help. Scraps may be a dog, but he's my friend. Yeah, that's not a weird sentence. You don't have to say but. That's, that's not a weird statement. <laughs> Look, my dog may be a pet, but he's also a companion. You wouldn't understand. I thought I was going to get to keep Scraps. Oh. I guess that's another one in the social thing, is it? Yeah, it is. Adversary? Oh, what the f- Okay, so there's still six more. And none of them are animals. Doesn't look like. Alright, we're gonna, qu I'm gonna quickly look up the squonk. Mm. Let me... Get a... Source... Window capture... Uh... Dari... blow. Alright, let's... Oh, I think I have seen this thing. Yeah. Squawk is a mythical creature reputed to live in the hemlock forests of northern Pennsylvania. Legends of squonks probably originated in the late 19th century at the high end of Pennsylvania's importance in the timber industry. Yeah, I've seen this. <laughs> it's so weird. Uh. Um... Legend holds that this creature's skin is ill-fitting, being covered with warts and other blemishes that, because it is ashamed of its appearance, it hides from plain, plain sight and height. Spends much of its time weeping. What? <laughs> uh, the, the fucking cryptid that supposedly is fucking susceptible to the beauty standards of society. That's... I love... That's, that's, okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, America. Are you okay? I don't think you're okay, America. Uh, 
All right, I think we have time for one more day. Yes, yes. Give me my meat. Do it again, actually. Well, that'll be fine. Okay, that would pink. Uh, bronze pipe. Put this in my inventory. Uh, and a fiber cloth. And just the four bronze plates, right? Keep making more! Never have enough. Right, here we go, and we'll go to bed. one is about to expire. Well, gee golly. I think I paid it off with all those stone stools, though. I think. First meat. There we go. Two there. Two there. Number two done. One more. Three more of these. Uh, is it two bronze pipes? Uh, five hardwood planks. Two. Two pipes, yep. Trois pipes. Collect more of this. Top it up again. And we'll go find... Where else do we put one of these? Uh, down there. Do -do -do, do -do -do. Where is the bus anyway? Or the DDs, whatever. Wait, can I use it? Let's find out. Because I don't think it is the bus, I think it's different to the bus. I think. I only go to where other stops are. 12 minutes! That's one way to pass time. Also, one way to freeze the game, apparently. <laughs> so we'll may as well take that bus out, it's completely useless now. Alright. Alrighty. You all are doing your thing, I guess. We'll go mining again. Hey, my health is 666. Neat. <laughs> I've officially leveled into the devil. Level the <laughs> devil level. I have some reservations. Well, too bad. I've already installed half of them. Well, two thirds of them actually. Okay, do this. All right. Then. Is it this? Yes. Lovely. I hate you. All right, there we go. Hey, you wreck nerd. Where are you going? We ain't done. Oh, he ain't done. Yeah, that was dumb. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah, that was dumb. Oh, well. 
Well, they seem to lose the second one anyway. Alright. Yes. No. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Woman. Let's not do this, let me... <laughs> Somehow I felt like you knew what I was going for. No, if that was the case, I would have just won. Bye. But I've been standing around for ten minutes, drawing time after time. Speaking of drawing, how's the flames coming along? Or you, or you had to stop that to drive somewhere. I remember flames being really hard to draw too. And I'm really bad at drawing so it was double so for me. And run so fast. Not bad. The blue looks better than the orange. It usually does, I find. Although they're good to mix together. Or you do that thing where, like, the inner f the inner flame is like a different heat to the outer flame, so like part of it's blue, part of it's orange. That's cool too. Nice! Is this pretty or what? Not is a viable answer. <laughs> a nice ring around the fucking rosy. Actually, it's a square, it's not a ring, but whatever. Now I know there was a bit I accidentally left down. And it bothered me last time I saw it. So I gotta go ki gotta go kill that now. It triggered my OCD, it dies. Where was it? Where was it? I think it was over here somewhere. Was, this was the way I was coming down last time. Where was it? There you are. Can't have you. Alright, let's uh... Expand it, I suppose. We'll turn it into a ring yet. To a switch ring yet? A fit ring? What are they called? I don't have a switch. I don't know. It's just the squishy version of the uh, Wii wheel. The one that would come attack, come boxed in with Mar uh, yeah, Mario Kart for Wii. Oh, 
I always hated the Wii, the, that thing. It was so uncomfortable to actually use. Like, um... It was really bad that... Accelerate in Mario Kart was, like, the, um, number two button. On the Wii Remote. Like, it's such a small button, and... Like, you're holding it down for a long time, so it really wears out, like, your finger. Or thumb, or whatever. But then with the wheel attached, like, you can't even get it into a comfortable position. Because you're also holding this extra heap of plastic. Extending your fingers further and whatnot. I always kept meaning to look if there was a second, like, layout. Controller layout. That you could use for Wii, f uh, Mario Kart for Wii. Because, yeah, that two button was terrible. I mean, I ended up just buying a, like, a Wii controller to play Mario Kart. So much better. Kind of ruins the fun of, you know, using the fucking motion controls, but, it, like, I don't know, it was a gimmick. You get over it when your thumb starts, like, glowing red from holding down that stupid button. Oh, that's my tangent about Wii Wheels. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. See you there. I see uneven in my roof. <laughs> no one else would ever bother to do this shit I'm doing right now. I don't know, it just passes the time while you wait for. I mean, I don't know what else you do right now. Uh, oh, I haven't got a commission. And half of them use the assembly station. And I don't know if you can build a second one. Maybe if you upgrade it to level 2, you can either do medium projects or two small projects at the same time? That would make sense. Maybe I should look into that. The other thing I noticed about my because I am um, going back to Minecraft because if you remember correctly about an hour and a half ago or something I can complain about copper in it but um I didn't I'd never played it on console before or maybe on Xbox but I'd never played the PS4 version until now and the fucking soundtrack is so weird on it it is just so un Minecrafty. And yet, at the same time, it also has these really, these added extra creepy cave sounds that I love. Because I love the creepy cave sounds in Minecraft. It's good atmosphere. Such a, for such an otherwise happy, happy, colorful game. When you get into a cave. And it was especially scary as a kid. Because I was a kid when Minecraft first came out, believe it or not. Aha! I'm old, apparently. I'm not allowed to say that. <laughs> yeah, what's up with the soundtrack on Minecraft for PS4? I half expected, like, dubstep to be the next fucking song in it. As I was playing through it. And yee! And 
get all of ye. I'm actually going to change you out for iron now. Just for a quick sec. Uh, how many do I need for the other quest? I need... Get this. Three. Just three. Danke. Alright, and I need four planks. Can I do four planks? That's not the fucking... Yes, I can. And I will have to do that next week. Because for now, I have to have a half an hour long drive back to where I'm staying. Yay! <laughs> uh, wait, is there enough... Not enough room for my sand? There we go. So we will go to bed to save the game, and I will call it there. Uh, oh shit, I can't... Right, I don't have my laptop. I don't know about waking... Not waking up. God damn it. I don't know about raiding. Hold on. Let me go to... See ya. Actually, no, fuck raiding. Fuck raiding. See y'all. Thanks for popping in. Thanks for bullying me, Amisteria. Oh, it's up the company. <laughs> uh, more Warhammer Thursday, Friday. <laughs> for some reason, I'm still fucking gonna try and finish that game. <laughs> Alright, bye-bye.